What's happening? It's WPGC 95.5. Myself, the Scholar, DJ Academic, special guest in here, Doja Cat. What's happening, Mom? What's up? I'm chilling. You just told me you had a crazy headache. Somebody was driving crazy? Yeah, the person we're with likes to slam on the brakes. Nobody's admitted it, but I feel like if he sees this, he'll be like, oh, okay, I point no elbows and nothing nowhere to nobody yeah. in particular. I'm just in the back seat, just like, <laughs> like it's not fun, and I've been doing it for hours. But, um, yeah, I'm good. I'm yeah. recovering. Even just meeting you in the last just 90 seconds, all right? It just seems like it's just never a dull moment with you. Run me through a day with Doja Cat. Uh, okay. They're all different. I stole a megaphone from a radio station recently. Uh, I've been singing on that, and nobody likes it. Uh, but, yeah, I think somebody took a battery out. So I'm trying to find that, I'm trying to fix that megaphone, so we can get back in back in business, back in motion. Um, also, so we should be watching everything around here just in e case it comes up. Yeah, listening. yes, yeah, that. Also, five finger discount Doja. We prank each other a lot too when we're on tour, so that's fun. Oh, what's the biggest prank you pulled on somebody this year? Somebody, for some reason, a bus driver had a box this big <laughs> full of condoms. Wow. So. We took them and we put them in the bunk beds of, we had a bus at this time, and we put, like, we, what did, did we fill them with water? We did. We filled them with water and we put them under pillows, under blankets. We filled a whole bunk of just the, like, package, like the packs of them, and just spread them all out. And somebody fell asleep on top of them, not knowing <laughs> that they were there. And I don't know how that came about, but whatever. So did they bust? We put them in shoes. Uh, she got one thrown at her. My tour manager got one thrown at her face, and it exploded. See, y'all just y'all just throwing blowing up condoms at I'm each other. I'm great at dodging them. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> what was the one they got you with, though? Uh, I don't think I ever got hit with any with any type of pranks whatsoever. I think it's mostly just I sit back with my popcorn and I enjoy, you know, the show most okay, of the time. So, well, you know, you just called the wolves <laughs> on yourself because now they're gonna try to get you. They're definitely gonna try to get you now. But anyway, Doja Cat in the building, myself, the scholar, DJ Academic. So let's go to the beginning of Doja Cat, how she um, came about. You come from a creative household. Your father was an actor, writer, right. filmmaker. Your mother was a painter. Yeah. How does that, like, correspond with who Doja Cat is now? Um, I knew that I loved to dance before I loved to make music. As a kid, I would, like, watch music videos and try to, like... I would like either dance in my living room or I I just know that like I went to high school and I wanted to be like a break dancer when I was in yeah just in high school when I started high school actually I started break dancing when I was like 10 but I started like taking it seriously yeah I'm yeah like you. popping I need to see it I, I was a po yeah I was a popper I'm not I'm not doing it cuz I'm rusty now I'm old Okay. You're not old. My you're birthday you're was yesterday. 24, I'm 24 now. 24? And I'm a little rusty in the joints. So I'm not doing that. Come on. But, you still um, got the knees? Yeah, yeah, I still got the knees, but that's, look, we sitting down, so it's unnecessary. <laughs> All right. But um, yeah, I, like, was in a crew and whatever, and it was just the whole era that, you know, I don't know. I don't really like to talk about it, but... Uh, Did you go to a regular high school or was it like a performing arts high school? Performing arts, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, and then I dropped out and I went home and I locked myself away and I started making music every day. And uh, yeah, and then I put it out on SoundCloud and then that happened. Mm. It's crazy. So did you expect career. the reaction from Moo like it did? Uh, 56 million views. No, but I get why it blew up so, so crazy. Um, Why is that? You never. I, I, it's a crazy. It's a. It's a ridiculous ass song. <laughs> it's really a crazy song, and the backdrops in the video didn't help it at all, right? But also, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, the boobs <laughs> and everything, and the me with my boobs, and yeah, just a lot of boobs and stuff. People like that. I guess that might be one of the biggest attractions. But um, also, I just wanted it to sound good too. So it's kind of a real song as much as it is also like a joke it's mm -hmm. like 50 50 like it was really just the inside joke and then it just turned into that mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Those are the best ones sometimes. Yeah. And a lot of your music, like I listen to the listen to the whole the deluxe version that you released back in March. That's still moving and doing good right now. And it's just a lot of different vibes on that. And that was like kind of the two party question while I was saying growing up in a creative household because it's like you get the more Caribbean like the Afrobeat vibe. You got yeah. your you got your pop crossover records. You got your records where you actually rap and spit a couple bars. And then you got like. The slow jam records, the midnight love records. Like I love yeah. casual. That was that was Thank you. I love casual. That Thank was one of my so joints. Much. That was one of my favorites. What's one of the what's one of your favorites off the off the project? Off my last album, I think I'd say Wine Pon You. Wine Pon You? Yeah. Also Conscience was on that and killed it and mm-hmm. just like yeah, just made that song sparkle mm-hmm. in a special way. Um but I'm really hard on myself about that album. Like I, Why? I it's not my, f- I mean, it's my first album. Mm-hmm. I feel like the first time you do anything, you can kind of like mess up or can be kind of not complete. I just feel like it wasn't finished and I had no idea what it was like to put out an album. So I just put this out and then. Well, you put it out twice. Didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a deluxe. Mm-hmm. But, you know, with that, it's not like I could go back and, like, change the songs or anything, which is something I would have maybe done and maybe would have rewritten something. So the anal you, what would you have changed about that album? All types of random stuff that doesn't matter. <laughs> like little little vocal things that bother me. But it's really because when I, when I made that album, I was smoking and I was you know crazy going out hanging out with crazy people and like doing all types of reckless stuff and with this new album that's coming out um in november uh, hot pink yeah i have have an exact date uh i do but i can't tell you until tomorrow until tomorrow you might as well say it you're a little little early just a little early but i uh yeah i'm putting that out uh in november and uh i almost said the date uh, <laughs> but with this album, I've never had something that was evolved in the way this is. I feel like it's just an exact representation of what I want to sound like. Mm. Like, I'm very confident. It's just crazy, like, what not smoking <laughs> weed for me personally did. And I feel like I could, you, you'll you hear it. You can hear the difference between the last album and this new one. So the last album in your, in your statement is basically saying it was all over the place because you were doing so yeah. much at that time. So this one, you're focusing on what then? This one is just, it's and it's really not that much more different as far as like me bending genres and doing different things here mm-hmm. and there as far as like genres. But um it's it's just more finished it's more it's just pulled together it's you can hear there's clarity in it and it's you just have to listen to it it's not it's not even like something that i can even describe it just feels refined any features and collaborations on the new one yeah definitely can't tell you you're killing me, Petey. You're killing I me. hate doing this. You're I have to do this me. every day, multiple times. I have to not tell people things. Can you tell me the production producers well, you work talk. with? Um, yeah, there's a Salam Remy record. Mm-hmm. There's a uh, is Ben on there? Ben Billions. Uh, oh, Curtis McKenzie. He goes by the Arcade. He did. Uh, he did Fancy with Iggy Azalea. Okay. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, well, Yeti Beats, who's my DJ, he's like my dad, he's like my best friend. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't shout him out, it's because I see him every day, I'm sick of him, but anyway, uh, he's great, and yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people. Kojak? Oh, yeah, yeah, Kojak as well, Jerry, uh, Jerry Powell, um, but they're all, they're all really, really good at what they do, and, we made some really fun tracks. Okay, well, with this newfound focus you got, walk me through a studio session making Bottom Bitch. Oh, that, man, that came about, the thing is, like, people are like, oh, you talking about being a pimp, you never, <laughs> like, I'm like, who cares? I just wanted to make a stupid song with meaningless lyrics, and I wanted it to sound good, and I feel like the ooh in it is hella cute, and you can hate all you want. I like that song. And I like the video. And that's it. How involved are you with the, the, the artwork and the, the visuals and all those things with your videos? Because all your videos are very artistic, very colorful, and they have a mm-hmm. lot of things going on. Yeah. So how involved are you in that? 
very involved. I write most of my treatments. Oh, I, wow. I like to write my treatments on planes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. It's like the feeling of maybe dying a horrible death makes me want to like dream okay. about like the most, the coolest thing that could happen visually in my life or something. Um, but I write all my treatments on planes. Uh, and I wrote, I think I wrote Juicy on a plane. I wrote Bottom Bitch on a plane. Um, Which is doing good, by the way, right now, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing good. Uh, and people think I'm a poser for skating in my video, but I've skated since I was nine. <laughs> the part that so. got me in the video, and I am I really wanted to ask you, did you actually do this in real life first? Y'all pulled up on the guys, told them to roll the window down, and then y'all egged them. It's all staged. It's all staged. So you've never done that? All of it's staged. Never done that. Oh, okay. Probably wouldn't throw a milkshake at a cop. Well, I know uh, that. I know that. Like, yeah. I got you actually egging a guy's car, though. Yeah, no. Daylight. Maybe. Well, you know what? Maybe. Put a few drinks in me and bring me, you know, yeah. Yeah, I, I might. I might. I've went streaking before. Oh. I've done some wild things. But, yeah, maybe. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So what should the DMV know about Doja Cat that they might not know or not expect? Um, that I, I don't really know. I don't think about that. I guess what they wouldn't expect about me that I don't really give can I curse? Go ahead. That I don't really give a fuck about most things. Uh and I don't take things too seriously as far as like creatively. I don't like to take myself too seriously. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yes, I get. I mean, you're very experimental, and I, I actually like it because it draws you in. Like a lot of the colors are all bright. It's always something different. Like even from the the move video to the to the juicy video yeah. to the Tia Tamara video, it's always something different. But it's always yeah. big, and it always just grabs your attention. Like it just like brings you here and just yeah. keeps you there. That's why I want to know how involved were you because that's that's very big. Well, did you want to ever get into like directing and things of that nature? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of I never would have thought that I wanted to do this sort of thing. But every video. I've always attached the song to a different theme mm -hmm. and a different, like, I wanted to do a Frankenstein video, even though someone's going to now steal that because I said it. I keep doing this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, just different. I love, I just, I want to do everything. I want to do every theme in the world. And just So do we see, like, a Beyonce lemonade type of thing where you, you put an album out and there's a visual to everything and it's like a long, drawn-out story do, type yes, thing? Yes, I'd love to do that. That's definitely like natural for me. I, I, Is that coming for hot pink? Yes. Wow, I got something out of it. So we got like a movie type of thing. A, li a little bit, a little bit. A little we bit. It, it's I I have a fresh. I'm this is my career is super fresh right now. Mm -hmm. So I can't just be doing videos and videos after videos and it's expensive. So I'm just taking it slow right now, but also this is the most content, most visual content I've had in my entire career. Mm. I've been doing this for like six, seven years. So it's just, it's good to put some visual content out. Cause people, and when I put it out now, it's like people are like, oh, she's been around for so long, she never does it. So now they, they care and it's cool to see people can like now watch it. It's not like nobody knows who I am. Um, when I put something out that I work hard Well, you hard definitely on. have to follow now. I mean, it's like a cult following, like all the yeah. females. Like just a minute ago, like my program directors, they were in there like ad-libbing, yeah. rapping tea and Tamara. And the other one was like, hey, I'm like da-da-da-da-da. Uh, and they oh was going God. back and forth. I wish I had recorded so it and cute. showed it to you because you yeah. thought I wasn't playing. You thought I'm lying. But, but yeah, so I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. What's that date again? Huh? <laughs> I tried, I tried. You really almost got me. <laughs> I really wanted to say it, because I want to say it. It sucks, but mm -hmm. tomorrow. All right, tomorrow. Tomorrow, she'll let me know. I'll put it on I'll put it on the radio tomorrow. All right, Doja Cat, DJ Academics. Let them know how to get at you, too. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at D-O-J-A-C-A-T. That's right. WPGC 95.5, that's a wrap. Thank you.